are you following the blueprint? Are you just following the map of other agents that have been wildly successful that have come before you, those that are doing it right now? Because if you're not and you're trying to recreate the wheel or you're beating your head against the wall, what the hell for? What are you doing that for? There's a blueprint laid out for you. All you have to do is follow it. And we're gonna talk about what the blueprint is right now. What is up, everybody? Welcome to episode 201 of the Massive Agent Podcast. I am your host, Dustin Brome, an agent in Salt Lake City, Utah. And um, today, episode 200 was, was last week, right? Like I put a bunch of extra resources and time into doing that. If you haven't heard episode 200, please go back and listen. We took the, our top five most listened to episodes of all time and took the best parts and clips from them and put them all into one episode. So that's pretty dang cool. Uh, if you're on YouTube, I didn't do a YouTube video for episode 200. So you'll have to go listen to the podcast episode. Just go to massiveagentpodcast.com or search that wherever, wherever fine podcasts are sold and you can find it. Uh, the reason I didn't do a YouTube video is I actually, some of those clips, I, I didn't even have video for some of those because my dumb ass didn't record video for some of those interviews. And even if I wanted to put it all together, I couldn't. So lesson learned there, record the video. Even if you're not gonna use it, you wanna have some video. Um, okay, so this week has been kind of crazy. And with episode 200 last week, I completely spaced that I even have another episode to do. Like episode 200 was like this big milestone for me, right? And then it wasn't until yesterday, which is Tuesday, I'm recording this on Wednesday. It wasn't until Tuesday, I was like, oh shit, I should probably do a podcast. Um, I need to now do episode 201 and start working towards 300. And so um, I didn't know what I was going to do until I woke up this morning and I just thought, I was watching something on Instagram and something inspired me to talk about this, this topic or this concept that we're not reinventing anything here as real estate agents. We are not reinventing shit, okay? If you want to be a successful real estate agent, and, and then once you figure out which way you want to get your business, you know, how you want to attract your clients, you just have to find the other people that have already done it and are currently doing it at a high level and do what they're doing. Pretty simple, okay? We're not, re we're not inventing new products. We're not, you know, we're not Steve Jobs and Apple inventing the smartphone for the first time, right? Inventing something new, that's hard. We're not doing that. We're real estate agents. We find people to buy or sell and we help them buy or sell. There's how many thousands of highly successful, you know, multi-million dollar a year earners are in this industry right now. Okay, if you want to be one of them, you just need to do what they're doing. Pretty simple. So the blueprint is laid out for you. It's laid out. So uh, this last weekend, I was in Atlanta with, with some of my team, uh, with some of our EXP team at a mastermind that we do every, every three months, which is pretty cool. Um, but one of the topics that we were discussing um, was YouTube. And something that, I mean, you heard a couple episodes ago, I told you about the mistakes I made with the Massive Agent Podcast YouTube channel and how I need to do a new channel if I'm gonna do the type of content I wanna do. Anyways, um, YouTube is just a very interesting topic to me, but if you're a real estate agent trying to get buyers and sellers and use YouTube to do it, it's probably one of the most simple blueprints out there or, or the most easily found. All you have to do is go to any of these living in San Diego, living in Portland, living in Salt Lake City, go to those YouTube channels. They're all following the same damn blueprint. It, like they, they all have the same types of, of thumbnails, the same topics. Like I just pulled up one, you know, the pros and cons, these are the video topics. So if you're like, okay, what do I do YouTube videos about if I'm trying to attract buyers and sellers locally? Pros and cons of living in your town cost of living in your town, living in your town versus another one. I'm not from here, the, you, the thumbnail says. Um, top five best neighborhoods in your town to live in. Pros and cons of living in your town. Pretty simple. Like 
all of these channels have already done the thing. They've, they've already done it. So if one of the, the hardest things for a content creator to come up with uh, for some content creators is what the hell do you talk about? Like, what do you, what are the topics? What do you do? What should, if you're going to do video, what do you do them about? If you're going to do podcast, what do you do them about? If you're going to write articles, what do you do them about? Okay. Well, just go find somebody who's winning at a high level and do exactly what they're doing. It's so easy to find whether if that's on YouTube, if that's part of your strategy, okay, go to YouTube and find people winning at a high level and do exactly what they're doing just based on your town and with your own unique spin. It's as simple as it gets. And I'm, I'm saying simple, it's not, it's not necessarily easy, but in this case, it is. We're not reinventing the wheel. We're not reinventing jack shit here. We're realtors and we, we just want to find more people who will hire us to work with them, okay? And then we just, we sell them a house or we sell their house or help them buy a, a place. That's the job. This is not some new thing. We're not, it, this isn't Silicon Valley. We're not inventing some, some new tech concept. We're not working on, you know, new blockchain technology or any of this stuff that uh, requires some serious out-of-the-box thinking. This requires no out of the box thinking. So, if, and if YouTube doesn't speak to you and you don't want to do that, and you're, you're really good on Instagram and you just want to find more followers and, and get more people to pay attention to you, okay, well, go find an agent who has a lot of attention locally and literally do what they're doing. Just do what they're, go through their feed, scroll down through their Instagram grid and notice, are they doing video? Are they posts? Are they writing long posts? Are they short? Um, what do their thumbnails or the, you know, the preview image thing, like the, you know, the thumbnail thing, what does that look like for their videos? Are they using reels? How are they using their reels? And once you start to look at people who are winning and, and you start to dissect how they're doing it and you do it intentionally, that's where you learn and you're like, oh, okay, well, they're sitting this way and the camera's coming at, like they're talking off camera. They're talking off camera like this, like they're being interviewed by somebody like Glenda Baker does on TikTok and, and Instagram reels. That's all she does. She just, she's answering questions or talking about, uh, telling stories, talking about topics, looking slightly off camera, talking to somebody. That's her whole approach. And she crushes it with that approach. So if that speaks to you and you want to do that, do that. Um, I'm, and here's the thing, if you, if you also don't know certain things, like what, what type of camera are they using? How do they get the, the image to look so crisp and focused that way? And you can't figure it out through some, some YouTube videos or Googling, then reach out to the person who has video or, you know, whatever content that you're aspiring to do and ask how they do it. And if they hire it out, say, okay, who do you hire it out to? Would you mind giving me their info? And then you can hire their editor. And then you, you tell their editor, hey, I'd like stuff that looks like this. On my Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn, you've seen the videos where I take clips from this podcast. And then I have that, you know, the, the podcast cover scrolling from left to right, you know, the, the progress bar. I didn't come up with that myself. I, I think I saw the scrolling progress bar from Gary V. And I thought, hmm, I'm going to use my podcast cover to scroll across. And that whole format, I just... I just told my editors, hey, find these things or here, here's these videos. Here's a few links to these videos. These are the aspects I like. Please use these in mine. And they do it. And they do it. Again, not reinventing the wheel. I've, I think that there's a lot of, I might step on some toes here, but I'm not sorry for it because you probably freaking need it. If you're really struggling right now in this business and you're not finding any traction, to a certain extent, you've decided that it needs to be this hard. You've made the decision and convinced yourself that it is hard. It's, it's a grind. It's a struggle. It's so hard to get clients. Well, is it? Because there's others that would disagree with you completely, that they think it's extremely easy. I know agents like this. I have mentors and, and agents on my team that to them now it's easy. It, it's, it's not even, it, it's simple, but it's also easy to them. 
sure they didn't start out that way, but they learned a few things and then they're like, huh, you know what, this is pretty easy. So why can't you decide that, it, that it's easy as well? When did you decide that it needs to be hard? And what if it didn't need to be? What if it could be easy? See, these are decisions you can make. These are things you can convince yourself of. Usually we convince ourselves of stuff that's not empowering. We literally just as easily with the same amount of energy and effort can convince ourselves of stuff that serves us. Such as, hmm, YouTube is really freaking simple. Here's the blueprint. Here's all these channels. They've already shown me that the topics that work, I'm going to go to their YouTube channel and sort by most popular videos. And I'll just do those. I'll just take the topic, do, do it in my town with your own unique spin. Hmm. You can all do that. You can all do that. Reach out to somebody and, and ask how they do it. What camera do they use? You know, who, what editor do they use? Ask them. I have people asking me all the time, how do I do my podcast? Who's your editor? I say, here you go. Here's Joel's info. Joel is my podcast editor. He's a freaking wizard when it comes to audio. Um, man, one of the best decisions I made was outsourcing to a professional who's better than me and faster than me outsourcing the editing of my shows. Now I'm glad that I did the editing in the beginning because I learned quite a bit, uh, but it's not the highest and best use of my time. So now I pay $150 a month to have four episodes uh, edited for me. And I just send him the raw recording. And I say, put the intro at the 30 second mark or whatever it is. And he takes care of the rest. He trims out gaps and he, and it probably takes him like three minutes to do because he's so good at it. He's a professional. So I hired up. You guys can do that with video editing. I have a video editor that I send this. Like if you're watching on YouTube, this video you're seeing, I just send the video of my podcast recordings to my editing team and they know what to do. And if I want to have them adjust what the graphics look like, I give them specifics. Hey, look at this person's. I like how they did this. I like the font. I like um, the coloring. I like the format. Please do that. In fact, since I've reached episode 200, I'm going to change some stuff up. I've been thinking about this lately. Um, I, I've got to, I've got to do a revamp. The social media graphics. I got to change some stuff up. Some graphics that I use. A little refresh, if you will. It's time. Um, in fact, I've been thinking about. There's, there's a lot of stuff that I'm about to release. Uh, and do for you guys, because I took a step back. Well, let me take a step back from me telling you that I took a step back. There's a lot of things that I was planning on doing. And I wasn't, I didn't really know why I just thought it was a good idea. But what I wasn't necessarily doing was listening to what you guys wanted, what you guys were asking for, and what you guys were needing based on the messages I get and the feedback I get from you guys. So I've taken a step back now and I'm like, why was I going to do that? Like, maybe I shouldn't do that, or at least not right now. Maybe first I should do this. So I'm going to be coming out with some stuff that gives you guys more access to me, uh, more mentoring, handholding on, on all things like business, mindset, fitness, nutrition, you know, parenting, all that stuff. I can give you all the lessons on how not to parent. I can certainly do that. So if you want to sign up for, for that, um, I can certainly teach you that. No, jokes aside, I think I'm a great dad, but oh my God, I have a seven-year-old boy and parenting a young child of two, three, or four is a very different thing. It's much easier than once emotions and self-esteem and all this stuff gets into the equation with you know my seven-year-old now. I have to level up as a father so that I can support him and help him, you know, not survive, but help him thrive. You know, that, that's on me. So anyhow, um, stay tuned because I've got some, I've got some ideas. When I was down in, in Atlanta with, uh, with the team, I spent one morning out by the pool because it was like 60 something degrees. It was nice. And just writing notes, I just had ideas and I'm like, I got to do this. I don't need to do this. How about this? Here's how to do it. And um, stay tuned. So I think it's going to be a way for all, more of you guys to be involved and it's more well-rounded. So more of you will be served by it. It's going to be easier to access, um, more affordable, all these things.
stay tuned. Um, I believe it's going to have the word impact in it. I was messing around with, with this phrase, massive agent impact, because making an impact with agents is something that um, fulfills me. You know, it, it's really where, where I'm spending the majority of my time trying to help make an impact on other agents' careers. Because first off, it's a great business move. Helping other people be financially successful is a good financial move for me if I'm just being transparent, but it's also fulfilling as hell. It's also like what keeps me going when I like hearing that somebody, when they joined our team, they five X their sales since they joined our team a year ago. Like it boggles my mind, but it's like, Oh my God, I'm on the right path. I'm doing what I need to be doing now. How do I do more of it? How do I reach more people? So back to the topic of following the blueprint, I myself am going through this, this journey of how do I get this podcast and get my social media content and get my message to reach more agents? How do I do that? Well, there's a bunch of, bunch of ways to do it. I'm running more ads that make the Massive Agent podcast show up more in front of agents. So that there's some ads um, that are, you know, it's actually, they've been working out quite well to grow our audience. But I'm looking at making my social media content better so that I can be found organically more. So in like next week, I'm actually flying down to Reno to meet with one of my friends who's who's really started to build a great brand on social. And I'm going to sit down with them for a day and see like, you know, how he sets up his camera, the settings, the lighting, you know, how he chooses his topics. Like I just I want to learn literally everything about how he does what he does because he's doing such a great job and he's grown a following so fast, but not just a following, it's translated into actual sales. His, his sales and revenue has actually, I believe 10 X since he started building his personal brand on Instagram, on social media in general. And so I'm like, this guy's doing some, something right. I want to fly down there and learn. So maybe you could do that with whoever it is you're looking up to, who's built something that you want to build, whether it's in, whether they're in your market or another market, ask if you can fly out and spend a couple hours with them and just see how they do it, the sh shadow them. Now understand they're busy. Maybe you need to offer to pay them for their time. And if they're really a top producer and really good at what they do, I mean, I can imagine they'll probably need some compensation um, unless they're just doing it out of the kindness of their heart, which is cool. It's awesome. Either way, it's fine. But um, how many of you guys are willing to do that? If, if you want to learn how to do something, how to basically copy someone's business plan and implement it in the shortest amount of time, have you ever considered paying them for that information? Have you ever considered hiring them to give it to you or taking a course, or hiring a coach, joining a, a team that gives it to you or whatever? Have you, are, or are you still beating your head against the goddamn wall trying to make little incremental progress? Guys, it's 20, it's almost 2022. We are, we are a third done with the fourth quarter of 2021. How crazy is that? We're already a third of the way through, 33% of the way through Q4. It's almost 2022. With technology and access to information and cheap, inexpensive technology like cameras, microphones, all the stuff. If you're not doing the things that you want to be doing, you're the only one that you can blame because you've somehow decided that it needs to be hard. You've somehow decided that it's got to be a grind and that it has to take a long time. Well, within three months, you could have insane growth if you, if you commit. And maybe that commitment is hiring a coach or hiring somebody for their information, flying out to, to shadow them for a day, whatever it is. I think you guys get the point now. But um, it doesn't have to be hard. It can actually be very easy. The blueprint is there. It doesn't matter what strategy you want to follow and make sure you are following a strategy that you want to do. If a YouTube strategy, if you're like, hell no, don't want to do it, just doesn't excite me, then don't do something else then. But whatever it is that you choose to do, you have to be attracting business. If you're not found online, if people can't find you organically, if they can't stumble upon you, or find you when they search your local area, then literally you don't exist. That's the world we live in now. If you're not building a brand, you don't exist because 
if people can't find you, they can't see you, they don't know anything about you, do you really exist to them? You don't. And do you think that that's going to get better or worse over the over coming years? So you've got to do something to attract business to you. You get to choose which path that is. And then follow the damn blueprint that so many others have, have done before. And guess what? Most of them followed someone else's blueprint. It's all about rip off and duplicate. Rip off and duplicate. I mean, the, the, there's a negative connotation to that, but there shouldn't be. We're literally just, just matching and mirroring what other successful people do. It's the most simple concept ever. If you want to be successful, do what successful people do. Follow their lead. Do it. You might, it might take you longer. It might, you might be faster. I don't know. But do it. The blueprint's out there, guys. Um, I hope that you really take to heart this question of, are you, did you decide to make it hard? And when did you decide that it needs to be hard? If you're banging your head against the wall, frustrated that you're not getting clients or whatever it is isn't working, well, are you trying to just do it on your own or are you following a proven blueprint? If you follow a proven, a proven blueprint long enough and consistently enough, you will win, all right? One of those blueprints, one of those clues of success out there is all these, so many of these large teams these super high producing solo agents, teams that are scaling super fast, even individual brokerages, they're using follow-up boss. Okay, follow-up boss is a partner of ours. And I, I mean, what a great segue that is, right? Perfect. They're using follow-up boss. So they're saying, hey, this is what we use to organize our business, to respond to our leads, to, you know, to, to what's the word? Not cultivate, but to nurture your leads for years automatically and then tools for scaling your business, for uh, bringing on new team members, distributing business to them and keeping track of all your transactions. Well, you could, again, beat yourself, beat your head against the wall trying to figure something out or make the CRM you're currently using work when it's not made for that. Or you can just say, hmm, I wanna scale quickly. I wanna grow a big team. I wanna have the business that that team does. So, oh wait, they're using follow-up boss. Maybe that's a clue you should too. But you should find out first. Thank God Follow Up Boss is giving a 30-day free trial to any listener of this show. Normally, it's only a 14-day trial, and there's no credit card required. Greatest thing ever, the, the no credit card required free trials. I freaking love them. And it shows that the company is very confident in what they're offering. So to get that 30-day free trial and please use it, make sure you actually log in and use it and see if Follow Up Boss is the right fit for you. Go to massiveagentpodcast.com slash follow up boss, massiveagentpodcast.com slash follow up boss. And you can get that free trial. Make sure you do that. Support them for, for supporting us. It's like a, you know, thank you for helping us. Thank you for supporting the show. Um, they're one of the good guys. Like they're one of the better uh, vendors that I've seen. They give tools to agents that shortens the learning curve and gives you the power to grow fast. But you have to decide that you can grow fast and then go out and get the stuff that's gonna help you do it. That's on you. The tools are there, the, the support is there, you have to reach out and grab it. And if you're in an office that doesn't give you support or your broker or your team, they don't support you, they're not like-minded, they're not, it's just not a good environment for you, um, you probably need to go somewhere else. There's some bold decisions that need to be made, guys. I don't know any way around it, but if you're willing to make those decisions and then and then do the things, even if they're a little bit difficult in the beginning, your life will be dramatically different. I chose a different brokerage three and a half years ago that's changed my life forever. It, and it's changed hundreds of others, other agents' lives as a result, as like a domino effect thing. It's wild. Had I not done that and stayed where it was safe, and where, where it was familiar, where it was comfortable, I cannot even imagine where I'd currently be. So sometimes you need to make a bold decision to go somewhere else, team up with somebody else, um, or not, or dissolve, a, you know, some a partnership that you have, get out of an arrangement that you have if it's just not working or if it's toxic. That's all on you guys. That's all on you. So I hope that you follow the blueprint. Seek out the blueprint. It's out there. Whatever it is you want to do. Follow the blueprint of somebody that's done it before you. 
go do it. Okay. You can decide to do it. Make the best of the, the rest of this year. Make the best of the rest. Now, make the best of the rest of 2021 so that going into 2022, you're firing on all cylinders. You've got a groove, you've got momentum, and then you're not trying to reestablish that and start building momentum after the holidays like most idiots. Don't be one of them. Okay. Keep going and build it now. I want nothing but the best for you guys. I know you can freaking do it. If you're listening to this show, if you're watching this on YouTube, you have it in you. You just have to decide that you can do it too. And then start doing the things that successful people do. Take care, guys.